Well, welcome to Entrepreneurship 3303 or 6303, Developing the Business Plan for the New Future, New Venture, excuse me. Um, you're veterans at this point. You've made it through the 01 and the 02. You already pretty much have um, the elements of your plan. In this semester, this short eight-week process, we're going to put it all together and get it out into the marketplace. Why? What can we do with that innovation, that business plan that you're developing? We can do two things. We can use it to start a new entity, or we can take it and use it as a representation of our abilities and capabilities and get a job with an existing organization, small, medium, or large, and allow them to be our funder. So you could go for outside funding, or you could use corporate funding. You could work inside the corporation or set something up where you were working outside the corporation but still with that relationship. So this is the purpose of these plans. These plans are like a resume. They're a way for us to get into a particular position or assignment and take advantage of what we're trying to make advantage of in the marketplace with our new product. Uh, therefore, we're going to start out this week, Module 1, Week 1, we're going to read a classic article about something called administrative evil. Administrative evil was actually something that came out of the science of public affairs, but it actually applies to for-profit, non-profit, and governmental organizations. What administrative evil says is that we are often doing things we think are right, but they are not. And we don't until some point in the future realize they were wrong. And we may be hurting ourselves, but we could be hurting others. It's one thing to hurt ourselves. We're ourselves, so I guess we have permission to hurt ourselves if we want to, unless the law prevents it. But we don't want to hurt others because there are laws out there for that. So reading uh, Dr. Adams' classic article about technical rationality and social responsibility amidst a culture of administrative evil, how do we define administrative evil? It's a scale. It begins with incompetence, it then goes to elitism and bias, it then goes to something called moral inversion, and ultimately it can lead to something called ethnocentric discrimination, and people in our society today label ethnocentric discrimination simply as racism. So at any rate, please read through that article, take with it what you can from it. Any business that is organized on a basis of social responsibility is a much more valuable enterprise than one that is not. And that's not my rule, that's the marketplace's rule. You can look at the value of socially responsible companies, the prices they're able to charge their products, and you'll see that they are much higher and more profitable than what the others are not. See you next week for week two, where we'll talk about startup, survival, and success. Thank you. <laughs>